So um, we have a very specific approach as to how we tackle some of these big problems at Cloudera, and it's three steps. Think big, start smart, iterate often. Um, so here you can see our big problem was, you know, we lacked an integrated approach for uh, sales to make decisions based on data. I know that's a problem everywhere, um, but yeah, so that was kind of our our big problem. How do we target the right people with the right message at the right time? The solution we came up with was to create a sales recommendation engine. The idea was to essentially put together this sales recommendation that serves up to sales, you know, here's exactly what you need to tell these people today in a very simplistic, easy manner, again, from a sales perspective. So you have to remember, Salespeople and marketing people, of course, we're all best friends. We all get along. But when sales takes a specific view on something, and typically, marketing will take a slightly different view. So we kind of had to make a fundamental shift in our marketing mindset and say, OK, we have this kick-ass set of data. Let's really make sure we can serve it up to sales in a way that they're going to look at it and use it from their lens. Let's talk about the set of data. So again, I said the start smart. So we had to figure out a differentiated set of data um, to, to utilize, and that's when we discovered Bombora. So we got the first version of this set of data, an Excel spreadsheet. You all might have seen this before. <laughs> we were looking at 8,000 accounts that we cared about with over 450 topics. That is a file that's 50 to 60 gigs. <laughs> and we were getting that every week. So what I say is that version was kind of like your horse and buggy. It's the pre-engine, not quite the engine uh, we, we wanted. Um, so what did we do? Heather handed me this set of data. And I said, yes, this is awesome. You know, I got to do something with this. So what did I do? <laughs> As a field marketer, I logged into Salesforce, and manually, one by one, I started populating my account reps' names against their accounts. Then what I would do is map one by one in that Google spreadsheet uh, what those accounts were doing on our website. So I had a flat file with these things, handful of accounts. Obviously, you can't do it with all 8,000, but you know, at that point in time, you know, that wasn't the solution, though, because it wasn't getting enough attention from sales. Um, so again, it was novel, but not anything they can really use and uh, work in their day to day. So that's when we did a little magic. And uh, what this shows is we put the data into, wait for it, Cloudera's product, our EDH, our Enterprise Data Hub. Um, so <laughs> we took all of Bombora's intent data, pumped it into our EDH, some people call it a data ocean, data lake, data bounce house, whatever you want to call it. And um, we also al already ingest our Salesforce data. So we were able to map those two data sets together. Magic. And there you go. We then take that and we spit that out the other end into uh, Tableau for our visualization. So we dumped all that into our EDH. And we produced what I'm going to call the Model T engine. You know, not perfect, but so, so this is V1 um, of our two views. The way that this works, again, as you can see all the way over there on the right hand side, there's a ton of filters. What those filters allow a sales rep to do is to go into this dashboard and filter on the things they care about. So we did a few things here. They can filter on their own name. They can filter on their SDR's name. If it's a target you know, 5,000 account, whatever it is, as well as the topics. And then we also grouped those topics into specific areas. So we're, doing, uh, we're tracking a whole bunch of our competitors um, in a number of different ways. And there's an entire competitive group. There's a cloud competitive group. There's several different competitive groups. So that if a sales rep cares about a specific group of topics, uh, they 
can go in and look at it. Now this kind of looks funky with all these little bubble things and these square things, and it's like, what the hell does this really mean? Well, the bubbles at the top, you can see, uh, basically anything above that gray dotted line are the surge scores we care about most. And so this shows a composite score for each one of those bubbles is a different account. What the sales rep can do is click on any one of those bubbles. So it'll give them a quick view to say, anything above the line are the accounts I should focus on this week. I'll click on one of those bubbles. When they click on one of those bubbles down below here, it populates just the surge topics for that account, and it, it shows you the um, order in which they're surging on which topics they're surging on. So that kind of you know, is a little bit of an easier way uh, to, to view the data. So that's one view. And then here's the second view, very simple uh, list. Again, um, just shows you the composite score on the end, shows you the specific topics and the account names. And again, just highlight over all the way on the right hand side, those uh, filters that the sales team cares about. Version two, the Chevy Bel Air. Again, we, we had the Model T foundation. We wanted to up it a little bit. Uh, so. One of the things we thought would be really cool is what happens if we take snapshots of this data over time? You know, we can then track trends, we can see kind of what's going on. Wouldn't it be cool to know if Bank of America cared about machine learning six months ago, it fell off their radar, and all of a sudden they care about machine learning again? Like now they've woken up again. So we started taking snapshots of this data and storing it again in our EDH, and what we were able to do was create a trending view. So what we show here is, uh, you won't see it on this, but all the way on the right-hand side, same type of thing. Sales rep can come in and filter on whatever they want. We have this data literally for 18 months for every week, uh, and we've, we've kept it. So we made this view one, two, three, four, five, six weeks, so you could see it easy here, but we can back up and look at an entire 18 months, basically, of the data. What it allows the rep to do then is go over, hover over, or click on any one of those topics, and it'll highlight and show exactly where it kind of was up, dropped off, maybe came back again, and where it landed, uh, so that we can kind of see those trends over time. So then we said, all right, well, you know, wouldn't it be cool to know this data up against our own website data? So that's when we came up with this butterfly chart. So what we did was we put Bombora's tags on our website, and what we created was a visualization that shows uh, the external surging data on one side and the visitor insights, so internal surging data on the other side. Um, it is kind of comparing apples to oranges here because one we're looking at page hits, the other side we're looking at composite scores. So where this is actually really helpful is kind of finding the gaps. So a rep would come in, look at it, maybe just their set of five to 10 accounts, and what they would do then is say, okay, of these accounts, which of my accounts are surging on topics externally that we care about, but are not hitting our website on those topics? So it's kind of that, you know, the, the delta, the difference there that they really makes them and forces them to pay a little bit more attention. So this is the top view is that um, bum, the butterfly chart. And then you can click in on the domains and you can kind of see the drill down. So what this is, is we call a vis and vis. If you hover over any of those bars, what you see is the specific topics, um, you know, even further into what they're, they're looking at. So what we created and the goal of this dashboard was really more so of a focus for our new net new accounts. Not quite our existing accounts, but more so net new. That was really the goal of this dashboard. So at Cloudera, we care about three core messages. We bucket them into machine learning, analytics, and cloud. And from our DG team, we constantly have these you know, three core messages um, going out to the world, and they're constantly being tweaked here and there by um, the marketing team. So what a sales rep, what this dashboard does is it actually looks at all of those surging topics over the last six weeks, and it buckets the account into one of those three categories that we care about. Remember how I said we bucket our topics into some of those main core areas? So like, let's say machine learning might include topics like 
AI or any of our machine learning competitors or anything like that so that we know and we can bucket each one of these accounts into one of those three categories. You'll never see an account twice in two different categories. They'll only sit once. So what the sales team does here is this is actually a monthly dashboard that they pay attention to. So they'll come in and they'll look at this the first of every month and they'll say, okay, these are my accounts that I need to serve our machine learning drip campaign to, which is already written up and ready to go by our marketing team. So we say, here you go, here's your drip campaign that you can utilize for these accounts. Um, you know, go, this, this is it. And they can go and they can trigger. Sometimes they have zero context on the account and this is perfect for those accounts where they don't really have their foot in the door, not quite sure how to go after them, don't really know what those accounts care about, but we got some contacts and we gotta do something with them. So this is a perfect use case for this dashboard. But yeah, so, so this is kind of, where we ended up. The, the cool thing about this, and I just also wanna talk about our always on advertising. So along these same types of lines, uh, the MAC, uh, Machine Learning Analytics and Cloud, what we do is we have through our partner, Just Media, they're here today somewhere. <laughs> um, they help us out with this, is we've got advertising running to our target accounts that constantly changes. So if an account starts to surge on, let's say, machine learning, boom, we hit them with our machine learning ads. Same thing, analytics and cloud. And that's constantly changing as and when those accounts uh, change their interest areas. So this is something that we have actually seen success. We've been running it now for about six months, half the year, so about six months. Um, Yep, and we just got back our kind of first big set of uh, metrics behind this. So we are seeing about a 43.8% lift against the benchmark, which is typically 25%. And we've seen, I literally just got this, so I don't even know the numbers off the top of my head, 55% um, increase on click-through rates. And we've seen a 47% increase on click to land rates, and we are down 32% on cost per acquisition. So really, really awesome rates, uh, just looking at simply the Bombora always on advertising that we're running. Key takeaways here, again, three steps, think big, start smart, iterate often, and uh, think from a sales rep's perspective, make the data actionable for sales from their view. And that's it. Mm -hmm.